My uncle Marty was a vaudevillian and an actor. As a young child, he acted in the, in the Jewish theater, and his biography also talks about that, where he was and when he was there. He was in the public theater, the national theater, um, Second Avenue Theater. Uh, but what I remember most about him, and again, he died when I was very young, so a lot of this is something that was imposed in my memory. I vaguely remember him, but how that is the case, I'm not sure, because I was two and a half. My memory told me that I was four, and then when I look back, I see no, I was two and a half. But I vaguely remember seeing him dressed. My uncle toured for the USO forever. My memory of him was always in a uniform, always in a US uniform, uh, the khaki uniform. He married my aunt, Goldie Eisman, who was also a vaudevillian. They acted in regular American theater and vaudeville. They traveled all around the country. Uh, they acted a lot in the Jewish theaters, uh, the, uh, not the theaters, the summer uh, stock, Yiddish stock upstate, you know, on the Concord and Browns and those places. They were entertainers in those places. And um, he died. He also acted in the Chicago uh, theater version of High Button Shoes, which was a big play on Broadway. And he was Phil Silver's understudy and took over for Phil Silver's for a week when Phil was sick. He was, he played the part. And I have a picture of him all dressed up in the high button shoes thing, playing the part on Broadway. Um, and so that was, he was also kind of larger than life in that way, you know, because you have an aunt and uncle and they're touring around with like Bob Hope and all these people, you know. So that's my memory of Uncle Marty, that he was very jovial and fun loving. They didn't have kids, that was a big issue for them. That was a sadness for them, they didn't have children. But we were therefore very important to them. I have stuff that they brought us from all over the world. You know, they, they toured and so they would bring things back. They didn't have kids. So they brought it back for their three ne two, two nephews and one niece. I was the only girl on that side and I was the youngest. So I got a lot of cheek pinching. You know, I was very important to my grandmother because I was the only girl. And, and the baby, she loved us all, don't misunderstand me, she was incredible that way. So her children traveled all over the world to do these things, her husband and her, and her child Marty.